Okay. But she has a bigger picture over here, right? Sandra. She has a picture on this side, right? Yeah. So we'll go. We'll go to this back. So. We don't have it anymore. Oh, you moved the picture? Yeah, yeah. Oh, where? Oh, you took it down. Yeah, we know we changed all the pictures. There. Oh wow. Okay. So Sandra is. That's Sandra. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So that's her right there. Yeah. Sandra is a door. Yeah, that's Sandra is a door. That's her. That's her. And then that's Sandra and yeah. Fela right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. That's her again in the picture. Oh, that's her again right there too. Okay, so the question. We're currently at the Kalakuta Museum. This is where I'm staying. This is the former residence yeah. of Fela Kuti, which is now a museum, yeah. hotel, and a restaurant. Yeah. So the question is. If it were not for Sandra Isidore, would Afrobeat exist? That's the question. That's a controversial question. I have, what's your name? I'm sorry. Jordan. Jordan. Michael, that's for Michael. Michael. Yeah. My friend Michael, who's the tour guide who works here, we're going to put him on the hot seat and get his opinion. Because me personally, if Sandra Isidore did not meet Fela Kuti, there would be no Afrobeat. That Sandra Isidore plays a very important and crucial role in the in the development of Afrobeat, and you cannot speak on Afrobeat without including Sandra Isidore. Can we get can we get your perspective on that, Mr. Michael? All right, uh, you're welcome. Please come to the museum. As you can see, that's Sandra Isidore in the picture with the lamp. Okay, even if Sandra Isidore. There will not be Afrobeat. Say that one more time. I need you to say that one more time. If not for Sandra is a doll, there will be nothing like Afrobeat. Okay. Sandra is part of a lie in 1969 to start playing Afrobeat in 1970. You know, Fela met Sandra in the US in 1969 when they were having a kind of concert called the Black Panther Concert. So after the concert, you know, when the black men were expecting Fela to play kind of African music and was playing a kind of jazz music. Say that. So, so before Sandra is a door, he is playing jazz, jazz and classical jazz and all that. Okay. So after he met Sandra is a door in U.S., Sandra had to give a lot of red books concerning how the Europeans people enslaved Africans and all that, and she introduced him to the Black Men Bench parties, where you have Pan Africanism, the Black Panther parties, and all that. And the first trip he actually took in his life. She was going to give that to him. And, you know, in 1970, after Fela came back to Nigeria, after being inspired by Sandra Isadol, he said, no more jazz. He doesn't want jazz music anymore. And he came up with a new idea of music, Afrobeat. That was how he planned Afrobeat in 1970. Okay. So. Okay. So I just want to reiterate one more time. Before Fela came in contact with Sandra, he was playing jazz. Yeah. And just normal Af African music. Yeah, yeah. Once he came in contact and was influenced by Sandra, she sparked in him Afrobeat. Influenced him. Because I know, I guess she told him, you know, you're playing jazz. Why are you playing jazz? jazz? Yeah. You need to play something more. More like so, African. Right, so she introduced him to like James Brown, correct? Or No, no, she introduced him to the Black Movement Party. The Black Movement Party, like the Black Panther Party. Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism. And um, movement of people. Okay, okay. okay. And then once she did that, that influence... Influenced him on that. After she influenced him on that, then, you know, he became more aware of the Black men, the Africans. That was why he said he needed to do something for his people, mm -hmm. for his own people back in Nigeria, most especially in Africa, then he had came up with a new idea of music, Afrobeat. Okay, so he came up with a new idea of Afrobeat by being inspired, inspired by Sandra, Sandra Isidore. Isidore. Okay, so there would be no Afrobeat without Sandra Isidore. No, Sandra Isidore. There we go. Thank you. Just wanted to set the record straight on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm staying at the Kalakuta Museum, which is Fela's old home, which has been converted into a museum slash restaurant slash slash hotel so this is my room excuse the mess excuse the mess everybody excuse the mess i apologize for the mess so this is my room so now i'm going to take you to Fela's room so Fela's room is right downstairs so we're gonna we're gonna head down there walk down there so you can see the art all that 
good stuff. You see all the art. So I gotta walk down this way. So this is Fela's room, right here. As it, as it was before he passed away. And these are his shoes and his clothes. So I just wanted to show you guys that the history of the place of uh, where I'm currently staying here in, uh, in Lagos at the Kalakuta Museum, the old home of Fela Kuti. Hope you guys enjoyed that.